4K and Blu-ray discs I have for Doctor Sleep are imported from the US. I also should point out that all 4K discs are region free from the US. The company Blu-ray disc with the director's cut on it is also region free, which of course is good news for everyone, as it is not always the case and are often region locked in the US. If by any chance you haven't seen any version of Doctor Sleep and want to know if it's worth seeing, then check out my review of the theatrical cut first on my channel, here, or on the link down below. Thanks guys. The theatrical cut of the film in my eyes is fantastic anyway, so the opportunity to see extra footage for this film was a necessity for me. The director's cut of the film contains an extra 28 minutes of unseen footage. The added and extra scenes are fairly small most of the time, apart from some of the scenes that are a good minute or two longer. I won't go into details about the added and extra scenes because chances are if you're watching this video you have already seen Doctor Sleep but not the director's cut, so I won't spoil it for you. But what I will say is that the film has been put into six title chapters which gives it a book-like style which I found welcoming and broke the film up intuitively. But so many director's cuts fail are not by adding enough relevant footage to elevate a film which would not make it worth your time and money, especially a second time round if you already own the theatrical version. After viewing Doctor Sleep the director's cut that's not the case whatsoever. Director Mike Flanagan is to be commended as he has skillfully interwoven the added footage with precision and meaning which makes the film flow wonderfully. The extra scenes and dialogue help to build on the characters more, they bring more depth to the overall story and hold your interest without making the film drag. All of these potentially iron out any issues a theatrical cut may have. Like I said there's nothing wrong with a theatrical cut. When I saw in the cinema and now on home video I never felt something was missing and if the director's cut never existed it wouldn't have bothered me in the slightest. But now after watching the director's cut I would definitely say it is the better version and has become one of the best director's cuts I've seen along with Clive Barker's Nightbreed. The only issue I have with this home video release is why the director's cut is only on the standard Blu-ray and not on a 4K disc. Potentially if you favour the director's cut and are an avid 4K collector like me you may feel cheated. Especially when you can redeem both versions of the film as a 4K download, which I'm sure will please many, but will never replace a hard copy in my opinion. So my final thoughts on Doctor Sleep the director's cut are that it is fantastic like its theatrical counterpart, but of course has the added and extended scenes which flesh out characters, their motivations and specific scenarios in the film a bit more. All of these make for a more complete journey, so fans like myself who love the theatrical cut will more than likely see the director's cut as the definitive version of Doctor Sleep. Well thanks for watching guys, I always appreciate it, and if you are new to my channel welcome. I hope you enjoyed my review of Doctor Sleep the director's cut. Please do tell me your thoughts on the film down below in the comments, don't forget to click like, subscribe and all in the notification options so you'll be kept up to date with my latest reviews. Thanks very much guys and I'll catch you next time.